Culture Secretary Nadine Dorries has said people have become afraid to say what they think for fear of being canceled and that left-wing activists have hijacked social media. In her first TV interview since taking the job, she said she does not plan to charge out on a culture war battle people were making these comments for political attack and nothing else. She told BBC Culture editor Katie Razzle, I just found them thoroughly unpleasant. She criticized online campaigners for frightening young people who actually do want to engage in serious debate. She also described negative reaction to her new role as quite misogynistic. After her appointment in September, comedian Dom Jolie said it was like the result of some drunk bet, while fellow comic Mark Thomas said Dories, who is also a successful author, had written more books than she had read. Half, as culture secretary, her entree includes setting the price of a TV license for the next five years, whether to privatize Channel 4, and introducing a law protecting young people from harms online. She has also just announced a further PS 107M as part of the Culture Recovery Fund to help almost 1,000 arts and heritage organizations continue their recovery from the pandemic. Last month, the Observer described Doris as the Minister for Culture Wars. But in the interview earlier this week, Doris said that was what other people say about me, not what I say. She explained, Sometimes I think we just need to tone down the condemnation and the judgment and evaluate and engage a little bit more than we do. I think social media probably contributes a lot to this. People are afraid because of the amplification in the echo chambers of social media. Doris has been outspoken on social media herself in the past, such as saying in 2017 that left-wing snowflakes are killing comedy. Doris has been outspoken on social media herself in the past, such as saying in 2017 that left-wing snowflakes are killing comedy. She stood by that comment, noting that some comedians had recently expressed concerns that they could no longer make light of certain subjects. I just said it first, she told the BBC. You can't wipe away history. Any such strident posts on social media are aimed at campaigners on the left who have hijacked that space rather than people who do want to talk about these issues seriously, she claimed. She also said she doesn't agree with removing statues and other memorials connected to the slave trade and other aspects of history, such as the Bank of England's removal of paintings and busts of past governors and directors. You can't, with this whole cancel culture, wipe it all out like it didn't happen and pretend it didn't exist, she said. You can't wipe away our history, either the good or the bad.